In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Catholic TV Mass. My name is Father Harry. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And with me in this beautiful chapel to the All Saints in Colma at Holy Cross Cemetery are Tim and Sheila Kennedy. No, it's Sheila and Tim Kennedy. <laughs> and uh, Tim has been with us many, many years. And then he went out and found a teenage bride. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, together they will read uh, the scriptures on our behalf and answer the prayers on your behalf. And together we will pray for one another to build, continue to build our community. So we begin by asking God to look kindly upon us and be forgiving of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep, deep in the netherworld, or high as the sky. But A has answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. you. Let, Let us, us see, see your, your face, face, and we, and we will be saved. saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. Let, Let us see, see your, your face, face, and we will, will be saved. Be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make, make us, us turn to you. Let, let us see, see your, your face, face and, and we, we will be, be saved. saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, but the son of the man whom you yourself made strong, then we will no more withdraw from your name. Lord, Lord new make life, us turn to you. We will call again upon you. Lord, Lord make, make us, us turn, turn to you. Let, Let us see, see your, your face, face and we will be saved. saved.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> I let you hear your, your bell. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at that moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. John Shea wrote something more beautiful than I could uh, speak to today, so I'm going to use uh, much of his, his word. It says a poem by John Shea. She was five, sure of the facts, and recited them with great conviction. They were so poor. This is her talking about the Holy Family. They were so poor they had only peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to eat. And they went a long way from home without getting lost. The lady rode a donkey. The man walked and the baby was inside the lady. They had to stay in a stable with an ox and an ass. But the three rich men found them because a star lighted the roof. Shepherds came and you could <clears throat> see the sheep, but you couldn't feed them. Then the baby was born. B-O-R-N-E-D. And do you know what he, uh, what it, do you know who he was? Her small eyes inflated. The baby was God. She jumped in the air, whirled around and dove into the sofa, buried her head under a cushion. This is the only response to the good news 
of God coming to us. John Shea wrote that about a little girl. These two women who we are depicted in the gospel today are certainly elevating the role of women in this birth of Jesus Christ to the point of uh, Elizabeth who was old and Mary was young and a woman came according to the scripture from the rib of Adam and the mother of God came from Mary. The mother of God. The Greeks call her the Theotokos. And so if you go into a Greek church, as I've said before, you don't see a crucifix. You see the Theotokos. You see the mother of God holding a small infant. And that is the center and the, the, uh, the, the apex of the Greek church. It's kind of interesting uh, when you, you know, we, we are drawn to a cross and suffering and kind of a negative scene. And the Greek church has always been drawn to the mother of God, this, this unusual thing that happened to just an ordinary young lady in Jerusalem. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. On this fourth Sunday of Advent, I light the last candle, which is usually a different color, but we make do with what we have. Let us pray. For all of our viewers, whether you're incarcerated or whether you're in a hospital or whether you're an elder care center or whether you're just at home with uh, your family and loved ones who are watching us, for you and your intentions, this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the sick and suffering, those who've asked for our prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And on these few days before Christmas, we remember all those who passed here, maybe your family members or friends who have passed away, that they may rest in eternity in the bosom of Abraham. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now we pause a moment for the personal intentions that you carry in the silence of your hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, answer our prayers if they be according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Do we move back? Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. <clears throat> Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in your divinity, who humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day 
be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us from our sins and cleanse us from all iniquity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with the angels and archangels, dominions and power and all the hosts of heaven, we too sing together as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world. world. For by <clears throat> your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of your diocese, and the many others who serve you. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them 
into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of, our, of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. In just a couple of days, three days to be exact, we'll be celebrating the coming of the Prince of Peace. And so this expression can be used in your home, with your family, uh, with those who might be visiting you in the hospital. Make sure that they know you are a peaceful person. Peace, Timothy. Peace, what's here? Don't hit me with your cane. Peace. Peace, Peace. <laughs> Peace dear. Peace. Yeah. Lamb of God. You take, you take away, away the, the sin of the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sin of the world, world have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sin of the world, world grant, grant us, us peace. peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, Amen. Him. The body of Christ, Sheila. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. I go here. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, 
so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to live the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us. I know that if you've watched this Mass, we also have a Mass on Christmas Day, both uh, on both stations here in San Francisco and also on Fox 40 in Sacramento. And uh, the Christmas Day Mass is usually about 8.30 or 9. So you can check the local listings of uh, those television stations that you normally watch. We uh, also have done some promotional, so it may be on the air giving you the exact time. Um, thank you all for joining us, Tim and Sheila. Merry Christmas to you all. If I don't see you, just leave all the packages that you've got for me at the door. Okay. Of course. <laughs> You'll do that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever door it would be. Uh, right. <laughs> no, I don't want any presents this year. Just a check will be fine. <laughs> May God bless you all. Oh, I should read a letter or two. I'm not sure how much time I have. Um, would you please keep me in your prayers? I have <clears throat> asthma. The air is so heavy from the fires and I'm having trouble breathing. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you so much for your Sunday morning mass. Um, I'm enjoying it very much as I'm enjoying your book. Whoa, that was a big one. Uh, a note to thank you and your staff for a lovely Mass on Sunday. I am 71 and suffer major pain throughout my body, so it's very uh, uplifting to be with you. Sunday Mass here in Lodi, California. Keep your inspiring words for us at home on the air. This is a token of my appreciation. Okay, they sent a check instead of you, Tim. <laughs> God bless you all. Join us again next week and on Christmas Day. history, enduring traditions, Holy Cross Catholic Cemetery. For 125 years, it continues to serve as the sacred historical resting place for hundreds of thousands of Bay Area Catholics. Since early childhood, I've been visiting my family here at Holy Cross. Faith and tradition are important to us. There's never a doubt that Holy Cross is where I want to be buried. It's a wonderful place to remember your loved ones. Holy Cross Catholic Cemetery. Share family stories, create your legacy.